All right, so quick update. Um, we managed to receive a voltage output from the controller to control the VFD. Um, so the max RPM on this machine is 2000. So, and the VFD uh, will take an input voltage from zero to 10 volts. So if we go zero RPM here, we should see this drop that back down to zero. All right. There it is, and then, so here we're going to write, we're just going to go 1000, this should give us 5 volts, okay. And then 2000 should give us our full 10 volts. And uh, there's a certain ramp up speed uh, that you can configure in mock. And there we go. So problem solved. All right, so using the AS2 VFD, um, just to knock off VFD from Amazon connecting to the free analog free analog one and ground to the Mach 3 breakout ground one and VSO right there we are finally able to control the motor now the speeds I'm going to be inputting in here are not going to be exactly the RPM being outputted simply because I haven't tuned the system yet. So here we're just going to start it off with let's say 500. I press enter and now the ramp up is pretty slow. Eventually it'll start spinning there. And uh, So these are all uh, settings that can be reconfigured in mock. So this is obviously not 500 RPM but uh, anyway, so let's go to 2000, which is the max RPM of this guy, and you'll get a, an idea of the ramp up here. So I think this is a uh, frequency being uh, displayed here. And there we are. So finally, we are able to control the spindle. So if I do spindle off, and it's going to shut off but very slowly because again uh, the ramp settings are not adjusted properly. Here are my Mach 3 um, configuration settings in case uh, it helps anybody. And the uh, PWM frequency I put arbitrarily was 1000 so uh, that's up to you.